Sometimes, some moments, when I find I'm left speechless, I pray for words. I search the skies for whatever pair of ears will hear me, and I pray for words like parched earth asking for rain. I trade a listening God my words for his, anticipating the moment when he will bless me to speak again. In this life, in these days and times, all I have left are my moments, subtle moments and grand moments, mundane moments and precious, the quickly fleeting and slow to come, some of them suggesting an unnecessary quiet. But I will no longer sacrifice these few moments to silence. I will not sit quietly as angels and demons whisper to me from my shoulders. I will weep. I will mourn. I will shout Holy Ghost mantras, thanking God for the gift of sound. I will wail, letting my voice slide through wind like a humble trombone that's just remembered how to praise, how to swing, holding on to my notes fast as if they were the hands of overzealous children crossing the street for the first time. I will cry. Embezzling tears from eyes that have seen so much, knowing there is still more to see, even more to be remembered, and nothing to be forgotten about my loved ones. I will holler, rejoice, celebrate, and chant. My savage songs will not be civilized. They will run naked like lions, uncovered and free like we people were before we hurried to hush one another, too eager to hear ourselves think. There will be no more thinking. Chaos requires no thought process. It cannot be premeditated. It must be impulsive, automatic. Screaming like a banshee, I will raise Cain and or hell, if only to be heard for a moment. If silence is golden, then grant me misfortune. I'd rather stomp, clap, hand bone, tap dance. My body a djembe, my voice thunder. Breathing with ocean-like depth. Diaphragmatic and heavy like century-old burdens, my inhales will be tumultuous, turbulent, and vehement, instigating the bones of my ribs to clamor, expelling sirens of sounds that echo their own echoes with deafening potential. Emmett Till, Amadou Diallo, Matthew Shepard, Sean Bell, Tyler Clemente, Jamie Rotemeyer, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Abraham Lincoln, Medgar Evers, John F. Kennedy, Scottsboro, Alabama, Rosewood, Florida, Greenwood, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Waco, Texas, September 11th, Dachau, Auschwitz, Darfur, Rwanda, Chicago riots, Harlem riots, Brixton riots, Watts riots, London riots, Stonewall riots, Berlin Wall, Edmund Pettus Bridge, Egyptian Revolution, South African Apartheid, Gina 6, Watergate, the transatlantic slave trade, Troy Davis, Trail of Tears, Vietnam, Desert Storm, War on Terror, Hurricane Katrina, Fred Hampton, Nat Turner, John Brown, Sam Overture, Che Guevara, Harvey Milk, Chante Ill, Nat Turner, Joan of Arc, Marie Antoinette, Benazir Bhutto, Daniel Pearl, Javar Savalon, Four Little Girls, George Junior, Stanley Jr., John Benet Ramsey, Kaylee Anthony, Proposition 8, Haiti, Chile, and Japan, Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Boston, Occupy Seattle, Occupy Oakland, Omaha, and Paris, but no rocks will cry out for me, my lord, because the dead can no longer speak for themselves, the impoverished go unheard, the enslaved are too terrorized to talk, and the soliloquies of sleepers are only recited inside the solitary confinements of their minds. Yes, sometimes silence speaks volumes, but I'd rather kick up dust and make a fuss. At least someone, if only God himself, will finally know how I feel. Yeah, give it up for everybody in the first half of BCB. We're going to be back with you in a few. Enjoy.